Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Tilt Hub. I'm Mooner, and we are two weeks into season 8. A lot has happened. Uh, we are about a quarter of the way through the regular season. Um, a lot of storylines, a lot of crazy stuff happening, so let's get right into the show. Being undefeated after week 1, Blue Water Panthers only dropped one game in week 2, so they are at the top of the standings. Season 7 champions, Toxic Legends, and Season 7.5 champs. The Revenants move up 10 plus spots each, and the rest of the table has kind of shuffled within each other. Looking at the point leaders, Young Nut from Doodle Inc. leads the way with 35 points in 8 games, and Little Chappie from Dub Club is not far behind him with 32. Looking at the most important stat, Penalty Kill Clear Zones, or PKCZs, M. Smith from Trap House leads the way with 13. And for the goalies, here are your save percentage leaders. One team that is struggling out of the gate is core playoff finalist Seasickness as they went 0-3-1 in Week 2, dropping a couple heartbreaking losses to some good teams in Aurora and Toxic Legends. Rumor has it is that management is not happy with how the team has been playing and are looking to shake things up. Snake Peter Houston is definitely on the trading block and they don't expect much in return for him. My unnamed source within the organization has told me that the reason they are looking to dish Snake Peter is because of this brutal turnover which led to the Toxic Legends game winning goal in the final minute of the game. The top landing spots for Snake Peter are the Blue Dragons, Monarchy, and Junior Revenants. There seems to be trouble in Toronto as the Blue Dragons management and players have differing opinions on how the club should be ran. This petition, which is led by Stricky, states that the players want more of a say in the game day lineups. With only 6 signatures out of 100, we'll see if this actually goes through. Hopefully the Blue Dragons can resolve this quickly. They finished 3rd in the core division last season and have built some pretty good momentum after a couple of tough seasons. Let's go! Fucking A! The boats have signed longtime ITHLer B Hunter, who is known for his twine hunting abilities. In his first game as a boat, he proved that he can hunt twine as he recorded a hat trick in the boat's 6 5 victory over the Boston Bandits. And sticking with the boats, the boats have released Brunus for a lack of commitment towards the club. Good luck, Brunus, in all your future endeavors. Come on, Cade. Yeah! <laughs> I'm wanting to feature more highlights on the show. So if you have any cool clips like the one you just saw, please post them under Plays of the Year on Discord. The Season 8 cover boy has been chosen. If you haven't received a DM from me about it, I'm sorry, but you aren't the cover boy for Season 8. Uh, the actual cover along with a small article will be out later this week. That'll do it for Episode 2 of Tilt Hub. If you have any particular stories you want me to cover, please DM me. Episode 3 will most likely be out next Monday.